Hello, everybody. It's Mindy. And guess what time it is? You know what time it is. I'm sitting on the couch, right? So yeah, it's yarny video time and I got a lot of things to show you. I have lots of like small things I've been working on, small little projects, nothing huge, but lots of small little things going on. They'll all become big things eventually. <laughs> and I have, I don't know, a whole bunch of packages over there. So let's get to it and let's show you what I have. Some of these things go with these things <laughs> and we'll talk about it when we get there. Okay, so let's just get right into it. Let's start here. I think I'll try to do this in a method that's like this goes with a project. So I'll show you this yarn and then I'll show you the project. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, this is not even open. See, this is what's better about me sitting on the couch. I used to do it over on the fireplace. And then I was always like, oh, I need scissors or I need this or I need that. And yeah, I didn't have it on the fireplace, but I do sitting over here on the couch. Okay, come on, open up. All right. Oh, and it's falling right out. Okay, trash pile over there. Bookmark. Let us always meet each other with let us always meet each other with smile, for the smile is the beginning of love. Mother Teresa, it's a bookmark. Um, they always give you something cool with your yarn. This is Expression Fiber Arts. Sometimes they were given little cards with little tips and things. I've kept those because those have been very helpful. And they've kind of gone back to bookmarks. They used to do bookmarks. So this is for the year-long mystery crochet long. This is the new color. This is March's color. So this is what it looks like. It is called Allegory, and it is on their crema worsted weight, which is 70% superwash merino and 30% mulberry silk. It is so soft, soft, squishy, scrumptious yarn. It's lovely. So this is the third clue. Like I said, this is March. April just came out yesterday. So I got to get this one done. You only make one square for each of these. And I know that clue four, I just watched your little video on clue four. There's some stitches. I'm like, we're doing what? Okay, that's interesting. Never heard of them. Um, and you use some of the yarn from a previous month <clears throat> in month four. I don't think you do on month three, though. So let me show you that project. I've got my two squares done, January and February. So here was January's ball I had left. And here's February's I have left. So I did this little thing here so I would know what they were. They're tangled up, though, so it's hard to tell you. I've, I've done this. <laughs> This is the tag that goes with it. I just kind of tied it in there so I know what it is. Because you do tend to get confused after 12 months of yarn. I believe I showed you January's already. January is this like diamond pattern. Pretty cool. There, you see the diamonds? Pretty cool. Ooh, look at in the sun. The sun goes through them. Oh, that's kind of cool. I really like January's. February's, not so much. So February, they said, was going to stay rounded on the corners, and it does. They're all cluster stitches all the way around. It really needs to be blocked. They both do. But this has this, like, I'll just call it what I think it is, like a little nipple in the middle. I don't know why it puckers out like that. It shouldn't. So I'm hoping with some blocking, if I block this, I can get that to flatten out and not do that, because that's really kind of weird. So that's the two squares I have so far. So I'll need to get my ball winder out and get this caked up so I can get that month done. I'm going to put it right there with the project. Huh? Why does that make sense? I don't know. Some, somehow that makes sense. What else do we have? I don't even know what we have here. Okay. I believe this is a, yeah, this is a yarn, a local yarn store purchase. Um, at the Yarn Garden in Charlotte, Michigan. They were doing an orphan sale. This is my invoice. Where they were um, getting rid of like things they were discontinuing or one skein left kind of stuff. And so on her Friday afternoon live, one week, I adopted this guy. And it is Ba Yarn La Jolla. And La Jolla is a fingering weight yarn. It doesn't really say that on here anywhere, but I have learned that that's what that means. La Jolla is fingering weight. So I adopted this guy right here. <clears throat> um, let's see. 
How much did I get off? Um, well, it was a $31 hank of yarn I got for 12. That's a pretty good deal. And it was June's colorway on this base. So they always get a color of the month in the yarn shop. Super pretty. It's got some neon greens in there, which I did not expect like such bright neon colors in there, but it has them. And then we have some deeper tones down here. So that should be very interesting. Um, oh, this is June of 21. Oh, it's June 21 yarn. They've had this one hanging around for a while then. It says right there, 21. It is 400 yards. Uh, hand dyed yarn. Super, 100% superwash merino. So I adopted me a, a La Jolla. So what can I do with that? I don't know. We'll find something. We will find something. Okay. Where are you going to go? Go over here in the corner. Um, I have another purchase from the yarn garden, our local yarn store. Let me show you that one. Then I'll show you this project. Yeah. Okay. So this is through Wonderland Yarns. Wonderland Yarns is doing a tour of the tour of something. Tour of the season, tour. I'll tell you in a second. It's a tour of something. It, my stitch markers are stuck to the bag. Sorry. Um, let's see. It's called, does it have, it's tour of the season, I believe. Anyhow, it's a skein a month, another skein of the month club kind of thing, and a block of the month. And this one, they're based on books. This one is the Duke and Duchess of Richmond. Request your honor at the noble offices of the Duke of Wellington on June 15th at 11 o'clock in the evening. So this is a little card that comes with it, a little progress card. You can put your info on the back, which is kind of cool. It comes with some stitch markers. These are called Gilded Notions. And the little book, they have a little book. This one, the book is Vanity Fair. It says Vanity Fair. And then there's a little like flag, a fan. Not a flag, a fan. So they all, they all come with a stitch marker. And this is the colorway for um, March, March, April, March. <laughs> it has to be March. I've only done one. I got February. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyhow, I think this is April's. Tour of the season is what it's called. Um, this is a Mad Hatter base which is a sport weight yarn. Um, and it is 344 yards. So this one is green. Oh, there's another one. This is, this is April. There's another one, though, that's March. This one just came in. They were going on vacation. It just came in. There's another color for this one somewhere. And I don't know where that's at. Mm, I don't know where that's at. Anyhow, um, let me show you what I've done. I have done... Each of those hanks will do three squares and leave you a little bit left over to like join your squares together. So I did my three squares out of that color and I blocked him. Look at them. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. Do they show up better? Where do they show up better? I don't know. Look at them. Aren't they cute though? Um, they were very fun. We got some cluster stitches in there. We got a lot of front posts. So they're fancy squares and I love them. They're so cool. Look at it. Right? It's very cool. So I did three and I blocked them and these are done and ready to go. All right. So I have something in this bag. Let me see. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Another trip to the yarn garden. There was something on top of it. Okay. Here we go. Um, this is, what do I have in here? Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, this is March. The green one is April. So, March was the Woodhouse family having a spring picnic at Donwell Abbey. <laughs> Again, they're cute little cards. And you keep your progress on the back. And here are the stitch markers. We did these out of order. This book is Emma. 
So here's the stitch markers. Book says Emma, and we have a little bird cage. I get the glare off it for you. Little bird cage. Cute, right? And then this was March's yarn. Oh my gosh, March's yarn is so pretty. So, so pretty. Look at it. It's teals and aqua. It's just, it's gorgeous. I love it. So she's called Emma. Okay. Emma, what's she called? Mm, I know it's got a name on here somewhere, doesn't it? Come on. Where did I see Emma? <laughs> Let me look closer. I don't know. I don't see a specific name. Okay, never mind. We'll stop looking. I don't see a name. Unless it's Rue de la Blanchière. That's it. Rue de la Blanchière. <laughs> All right. So, I didn't get January. I'm regretting that I didn't start this at the beginning of the year. So, February, March, and April. There we go. Just picture them. They're going to be blocks, right? Just picture it. Yeah. So, this will be fun. And I'm thinking that what I could do, because you can only get three blocks out of each one, multiply that by 11, and I'm going to get 33. That's not going to be a huge blanket, but I could get more of this base of yarn and just repeat the patterns to make this blanket even bigger. I knew I had more yarn, you guys. I'm like, where is the rest of that? So that is that project. That's fun. Fun, fun. This is more of their um, orphans. This is another orphan, okay? <laughs> this has a pattern, which is kind of cool. This is also a Wonderland yarn. And they've got the cutest display in the store for Wonderland yarns, for these cakes. They've got like a, a almost like a post office box looking thing with different, and they got these in there like this. And it's just the prettiest, prettiest little display. So what did I get? This has a pattern and it also comes with their card. They, they're into these cards with progress on the back. You can put all your information on the back about what you're doing with it, what you're using, what hook size, all that kind of stuff. You can keep on your card. You can keep it with your yarn and you know what you're doing. This one comes with a, a scarf, a head scarf pattern, but it's knit. So I won't be able to use it, but I, I could do another. Um, I could do a scarf. I'm thinking of doing like a bandana or, a band, or a, maybe even a head bandana type thing. I got several patterns saved and I think that would work out great in this yarn. Let me show you the yarn. The yarn's really pretty. So um, it's the blossoms and it's sport weight. Blossoms is sport weight. Do you suppose she's a wildflower? Lewis Carroll from Alice in Wonderland said that. So this was on their um, orphan table when I went in to pick that pick up that other yarn. And I picked this up. I didn't go in to buy orphans. 344 yards of superwash merino. Look at the colors. Oh, isn't that pretty? Won't that be just pretty? Pinks to purples to green. I'm going to make like a scarf. I think I want to do like a headband or a bandana for your head, you know, something like that. They all come with a little stitch marker too. And this one is super cute. I might have to give this to my daughter at some point. It's otters. Isn't that cute? She loves otters. I don't know if she'll use stitch markers. She might, she might not, but that's adorable, the little otters. So another Wonderland yarn purchase. I, I'm really digging Wonderland yarns. They're, they're awesome. Okay, now what do we have? Now we have subscription boxes. Mm -hmm. This is my last one from Southern Skeins. This is the last one. I knew I was getting one more. I knew that was going to happen. Just the time that I canceled, I figured there was going to be one more coming. So this is it, folks. Love the organza bag. So I've got a bunch of bags now. Let's see what's in our bag. Our card will probably tell us. We got a card. Um, the colorway is called Buttercup. It's a sock set. Extra fine. Or, or it's a DK set. I have the DK set. 
It comes with, uh, I don't get the drawstring bag. You have to pay extra to get a bag. I don't get the bag, but I will get the goodie bag, which is a stitch marker from Bronze Shepherd, lotion from Happy Hands, a measuring tape, and tea. They always put tea in here. <laughs> so there's this pretty uh, similar every month. And that's one of the reasons this was the one I canceled. I mean, Southern Skein's tape measure. Here is the little lotion. I gave these away at Christmas time. I put them in all of the girls' stockings. Oh, I got one more thing from the yarn store. It's sitting right there. I forgot to show you. A tea. And I don't drink tea. I gave those away at Christmas time. And the stitch markers are always a little clay stitch marker. And is it an otter again? Tell me. You tell me. Is that an otter again? Kind of looks like it is. Right? Another otter? I'm thinking so. All right. And here is the yarn. It's a very pretty yarn. This yellow is gorgeous. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful yellow. And then down here at this end, it almost reminds me of like pink lemonade. It's got pinks and speckles in there. And this time I like the little complimentary skein that came with it, which is like a peachy pink and it really matches. I like this combo. So. Can I make socks out of DK? Would there be enough here to make a pair of crocheted socks with DK weight? I've never done that. I did make one pair of socks. It's called Buttercup. Um, there's 245 yards of the main color and another 49 yards of the mini. Toe, heel, sock, and on the pattern. I might try that. Actually use it as a sock yarn. So that is my last Southern Skeins, I know, I know. All right, the Yarn Bliss box. Oh, Yarn Bliss is doing an advent, you guys. I'm resisting. I, I've already bought, I've already bought two advents for this next year. And I know there's one more that I would, I want to buy and I'm going to buy, but uh, this one keeps calling my name. It's still available. Look at this paper. This paper inside is so cute. I'm going to show it to you. It's little sheep. Look at it. It's little sheepies everywhere. Super cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, let's find their card and see what their card says about their box this month. Oh, that's a nice tin. Oh my gosh. Yarn Bliss Box from Speckled Finch. April 2024 box is inspired by Fiber Friends and the best friends. Okay. We have Fiber Friends Best Friend Yarn. Notion Tin by Emma Ball. I love Emma Ball. I got some of her stitch markers. Um, Handmade Care Tags by Yarn Bliss. And Fiber Friends Sticker by Yarn Bliss. And there's a coupon code there. Look at, see the card? How cute, right? Okay, let's look at the goodies. Goodies first, then yarn. Here's the sticker. Oh my gosh. Fiber friends are the best friend. These are nice stickers. This is like a vinyl sticker. Those are nice. Oh, to find some place to put that. That's what I need to do. Okay. And then we have, um, oh, it's just a little tag. Oh, that's what it is. It's just, there's some care tags. There's several of them. You could just attach them to a project that you give to somebody. Handmade with love by Mindy. Care, care instructions and your fiber content. And you'd attach that to your piece so people would know all the details about the item. That's kind of cool. All right. And then here is this little tin. It's so cute. Look at it. It is sheep and llamas. On the back it says, let the other woolies look after your stuff. <laughs> Emma Ball. Cute. There's stuff in it. What is in it? Oh, some little, um, there's a needle. Oh, nice little needle, darning needle. And there's a bunch of these little stitch markers, this, this type, the little light bulb looking ones. Cute. Well, while we're talking stitch markers, let me show you what I got at the yarn garden. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, these are Emma Ball too. Ah, that's perfect. I got several sets of Emma Ball stitch markers. I got these knowing they will not work very well for crochet. But, okay, 
Uh, here's what we're going to do. I'll show you. I think this will work. Let me show the stitch markers first. They are gnomes. So I had to get them. I mean, if you know anything about the yarn garden, she's all about gnomes. She's all about the gnomes. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can get them to lay down in my hand. There's a couple of repeats. Yeah, there's two of each. There's two of each. That's uh, not the best. Cute, right? And so because they are um, made for knitting needles, because they just have the circular ring, there's one up close. You see it? Hang on. Where, okay, where's my camera? Like it. Cute. I'm thinking, and I bought a package of these at Hobby Lobby. All you have to really do is unhook this little guy and loop him in here. And you can work him for crochet. They'll work for crochet that way. So that's what I'm going to do with those. I'm going to put all of those little stitch markers on my little Nomi guys. They're cute. I love it. Okay, I'm going to put them all right in this little tin so I don't lose them. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Yarn. We're to the yarn. We're finally to the yarn. No, we're not. No, we're not. There's more. There's more that came in here? Okay. <laughs> what else do we have? Um, we got candy. We have candy. We have candy. What kind of candy? I have no idea. Is it hard candy? It's hard candy. I can't bend it. Well, candy. So there's two of those. A uh, bonus. Oh, wow. It's a bonus. It's a bonus. It's a knitting needle and crochet hook sizing from Katrinkles. Now, I do not know how these work for crochet hooks. If anybody has a clue, I mean, a knitting needle makes complete sense. Okay. So, for example, this is a 4.0. How, how, how does that work? It doesn't, oh, but it does. It does go through the hole. Okay. I had another one sitting here too. Let's see. A uh, five. Uh, a five. Does it go in? Oh, you guys, it works just like that. So it has on the top, it has the knitting needle size, like an eight or a five crochet hook. Okay. I do have one hook and I, it's not marked. And so I never put it with the others because I'm afraid I'm going to forget what it is. Okay. I didn't realize that would actually work on crochet hooks. That's awesome. That's cool. Now we can look at the yarn. <laughs> this video is going to be forever long, isn't it? Okay. Yarn Bliss. Speckled Finch, Fiber Friends, Bouncy DK, 100% Merino, 231 yards. I know somebody who would really like this one. <laughs> Look at that. These are really not my colors, but I know somebody who would love this one. Right? Got browns, some gray, some gold colors in there, orangey. Almost to a rusty purple color down in there. All right. So that was um, at April's box? No. April. It is April's box. Did it say April? <laughs> My brain. Yeah, it's April. Okay. All right. So there's that one. Okay. All my cards and all those fun things are there. Okay. Next. Next up, Yarnable. Yarnable. I bought their advent. I did. I had to. They got a cute concept for their advent for this year. And I bought an advent from somebody I'd never heard of before. Uh, I never heard of them. But I liked what they were offering. And I said, I'm going to try them. Never bought their yarn before. I know it seemed kind of risky, right? Never bought their yarn before and you buy an advent from them. Advents are not cheap, you guys. They are not, not cheap. So let's show you this. They always give you these little zipper pouches, which are cool. Those are very reusable. Okay, 
What's their card say? Did you know the largest donut ever made was an American style jelly donut weighing 3.739 tons? 3.739 ton donut? Are you kidding? Okay. There's a QR code and a little scratch thing for um, money off and stuff. So uh, life is short. Eat the donut. <laughs> I guess this is a donut theme. <laughs> um, if we're not meant to have midnight snacks, why is there a light in the refrigerator? Good question. So we have donut-shaped needle tip toppers. Oh, I can't use needle toppers. They're so cute, but if you don't knit, you don't have anything to put the tip on, right? Somebody suggested from the yarn garden that you could put these little tip toppers on the ends of crochet hooks, which you might be able to if you use just regular crochet hooks, but I don't. I use the ergonomic ones, and those won't fit on the ends of those. They might fit on the end of a regular crochet hook, though. A 150-piece micro puzzle in a yarnable exclusive donut theme design. Um, and then add some color to your world with wildflower seeds. Okay, this is cool. All right. So here is the wildflower seeds. They come, they look like a little matchbook, but they're wildflowers. And it tells you how to plant them and all that kind of stuff. So there are these little tabs and it's like seeds in paper and you can just put these in the ground. The paper gets wet and dissolves and then your seeds can sprout out of these. Um, they're pretty cool. I've had some of these before. Yep. Plant your seed paper strips under the soil. Keep it moist. Place in a sunny corner and enjoy watching your wildflowers grow. Beautiful. And they look like a little matchbook. That's how they work. All right, here's the little micro puzzle. And these are mini, mini little micro pieces. Look how small they are. They're tiny. How many pieces are in here? Does it say? I don't know if it says anywhere how many. 150 pieces. And I'm assuming this is the picture of the puzzle. It's all the donuts at the top. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to... I'm going to break my secret here. I had a secret. I told you I bought their Advent, right? Every one of their skeins of yarns comes with a little micro puzzle. <laughs> I thought that was so fun. I'm like, little micro puzzles with the yarn? But yeah, fun. So I'm looking forward to getting that one. Okay. And then here are those toppers. Like I said, I can't use them. And I can't put them on the ends of my hooks because... And I can't get it out of the bag either. So there's a lot of issues going on here. <laughs> they really won't come out of the bag. How did they get them in the under? Oh, okay. They're loose. I thought they were attached to the card. The card just says tip toppers, spitz needles, US2 and up. Okay. They're cute. I'll leave them in the bag. They're little donuts. I so wish I could figure out something to do with these. I just. I don't know. I have several sets of these little needle topper things now, but I just, I have no use for them. They're super cute. All right. Put those in there so we don't lose the little, they're rubbery. <laughs> they're cute. Okay. All the goodies are all over there. Here's the yarn. Comes in a canvas bag. Oh, it's very pretty. Wow. It's very subtle. Um, life is short. Eat the donut. Plush DK. Uh, 246 yards, 85 superwash, and 15% nylon. Look at it. Look at it. It's such a pretty blushy pink color. I don't know if it's showing up on camera very well, but it's like a peachy blush color with just some random sparkles. Pink sparkles, blue sparkles, speckles, not sparkles. Speckles. Cute. Somebody asked me in one of my videos what you can do with just one of these hanks. Well, there's plenty you can do. You can make uh, you can make a neck warmer. You can make a kerchief. You can make a headband. You can make a thin little scarf. Or, or you can start taking some of these and joining them with other hanks to make a larger project. Just pick some colors that go well together. We do it all the time. 
knitters. Oh my gosh, knitters come up with some of the most fantastic combinations I've ever seen. Bad Sheep Yarn, every Thursday night on her live, it's what she does. She pairs her yarns. People will ask, can you show this one with this one so we can see what they look like together? And some of the combinations people come up with, I'd be like, I would never do that. But they knit something up and it's stunning, gorgeous. So you can mix your colors of Hank's yarn for sure. Okay. So speaking of that, this was on sale at Expression Fiber Arts. Again, she has a live every Tuesday. And this yarn was on clearance. Clearance. I mean, they're discontinuing this base and whatnot. And I had to try it. It is on Restore DK, which is 36% alpaca. So you know what that's doing to this yarn. 37% wool and 27% viscose, which is plant-based material, right? Oh, man. This color is called Blush Brush. What? I think this is DK weight. Yes, Restore DK. That's in the name. Hello. Look at it. So this one is blush color. I got two, two of the blush. I think these were like 11 or $12, a skein, a hank, but that wasn't gonna be enough to do a project with. And the, the colors were limited. There's not a ton of colors, but what do you think of those together? Right? I got four folks, I got four. The people who show yarn, they're crazy, you guys. I don't know how they do it all. They're always like, here we go, did it? Oh, well, I guess that works, <laughs> that works. So then if you wanted to alternate, you could alternate. You could do something stripey like that. I think the colors go together just great. Um, and the darker one is called Black Tulip. Oh, one of my favorite black. Black flowers are so pretty. Black Tulip. What do you think? I had to get them. I mean, they were such a good deal. How can you pass up great deals? Okay, we're getting to the bottom. We are getting to the bottom. Okay, this is my Annie's, my Annie's kit. Okay, so this is all my paperwork. But these are the yarns this month. I am caught up. I'm caught up on my Annie's. Just, just be proud of me for a second, okay? This one's called Peach Sand. This one is called Rococo, Rococo Rose. <laughs> Rococo Rose. This one is called, um, I don't know, uh, Cerulean. Cerulean, very pretty. I don't think I've had any of these colors yet. And this one, I think I've had this one. Indigo, I'm certain I've had indigo. I started with indigo. And then there's one more. Oh man, this is beautiful. Um, Mediterranean. Wow. So here's the colors that came with it this month. Those together are gorgeous, aren't they? Gorgeous. So let me show you my progress. Let me just dump these in here. Come on. Dump, 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 dump. There we go. I blocked several of these and I've determined that there are some I'm not going to block anymore in the future. Because um, I don't need to. They are a good enough size. They don't need to be blocked. But let me show you. And I've, I've probably shown you some of these before. This was the first, the first month was all of this. And it used like these five main colors. This cream, peach, the two blues, and this rosier pink. And I'm certain I've shown you these. So we had small squares. We had this square here. This one was fun. I liked that one. And then there was this. I did block this piece. These are supposed to be 12 inches long. I did block this one. And after I took it off my blocking board, it did kind of shrink up a little bit, but I can, it'll be fine. I can stretch it out when I put these together. It'll be just fine. So that was the first month. And then the second month, we had one of these guys. This one's kind of small. I might block him. I think these are four inches. He might need blocking. But then I thought, maybe he doesn't. I don't know. 
Then there were two like this in two different colors. This was fun. It makes like this little starbursty thing. And these loop. You loop these together. They're chains and you just loop them through. That was fun to do. And then there's just one like this, which is you did half and then you did half. It was interesting. All right. And then we've got two big, big squares. This one is super big. If I blocked this one, it would just get larger. And I don't know how to make it any smaller. I think I'm just going to go with it and make it work. And then there's this guy. Okay, like a flower in the center. And then this one. And this one I did block. And it's still. And it's the nature of these. I think they're, what are they? Are they triple crochets? They really pulled. And because you go down, like it's wavy, it's wonky. I blocked it. It will stretch. This yarn is forgiving. So when I go to hook these all together, this will stretch out a little more even. But this drop down stitch just pulls and it pulls and pulls. I mean, I probably need to just really, you know, yank it up more. But there's that. So that's the first two months of the Annie's and you just saw month three. So I can start on month three now. So I've got these in order. Not that they go in the blanket in order, but I'm keeping them, you know, month to month. There's a whole diagram. So anyhow, I can work on that. All right. I got a couple more things to show you that I've worked on. See, I have been busy. I've gotten a lot of crochet done. Okay. Here's my other thing I worked on. This is <laughs> This is the granny afghan, the granny yarn, granny stitch yarn. It's very pretty. And in theory, you're supposed to be able to just crochet a granny square and the colors change as needed. It kind of works and sometimes it kind of doesn't. You've got to be so exact with your tension and your stitches to make this work. And sometimes I'm tearing it out a little bit so I can do the last round a little tighter or a little looser to adjust. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's not always perfect. Um, but it works up super pretty. I mean, it works up so pretty. And I'm thinking I'm making a bag out of this. When I get these squares done, I'm making a bag. Like this one, this one here is um, almost perfect. Almost. But like you'll see right here, I've got one purple in my teal. Uh, okay. Sue me. I mean, come on. I got it as close as I could, right? I got it as close as I could. So some of them are super close. Some are just off a little bit. There are, there might be one that's perfect, but you know, I don't know if there's one that's perfect. No, not really. But there they are. <laughs> there they are. All my little squares. And how many do I have? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, seven. There is a number on the ball band that tells you how many it will make. But I've been looking at some different patterns to put these together. And I think I found one. I need 11, maybe 11 to make a nice little bag. So that's what I have planned for that. Okay. Then, okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. I know this is super long. So um, this is for our crochet along with myself and Angie. I'm using this ice yarn. It's called Lorena Colorful Ice Yarn. It's cotton. It's not like super soft cotton or anything. It's cotton. So we switched our shirt. We changed tops. Neither one of us liked it. We switched. This is what I got so far. This is my top. <laughs> All right. So it's a raglan sleeve. Here's our sleeves. You can see where the sleeves are going to come into play here. Um, and this is this is where I stop and make sleeves. So when I put this on, and I've tried this on, I put it over my head. I tried it on the live too, when it was like this big. <laughs> it's funny. Um, but now the next round or so you come through and you connect here 
and this becomes your sleeve opening on the edges so you connect them down here at the corner and so those will be my sleeves so you just need to make sure those are gonna like fit around your arm right and the, it, it's fitting it does fit and it's stretchy it's cotton it stretches that's what i got so far i'm excited to keep going with it i'm actually liking it it's fun this is all an extended single crochet which is a fun little stitch it's easy it goes pretty quick of course the bigger we get the longer it's taking to go around but it's fun it's pretty i like it. i like it the way the colors are kind of pooling a little bit it's kind of cool all right so there's that and then last saturday last sunday i went out to the yarn store in east lansing and did a class with tony lipsy which was awesome i mean i was like i was starstruck a little walking in there like oh i'm seeing a celebrity you know and she was teaching us how to do a pattern of hers and it is the um adventurous scarf so it looks like this the adventurous scarf and she used mini skeins from an advent she only had 13. now i'm using um 21 21. so she said you can make this as wide as you'd like make it wider use more yarn it doesn't have to be the same width and i'm like okay that's what i think i'm going to do so i can use up more of that advent that was my southern skeins advent hang on real quick let me show you real quick i worked and worked and worked and worked with this totally to get an order that i liked that's a receipt for something no don't slide i don't i don't need you there so <clears throat> these are some i'm not going to use this one is like the school colors from my last elementary school I worked at. <laughs> and this is like watermelon. And these just didn't really fit into the scheme anywhere. Let's see if I can show them to you. This is what I came up with. Well, these are up here. You come up here. These, these, no. Okay, don't. I can't slide it around. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's my color combination. This is my order. This will be my next one right pretty very pretty okay so i don't want to fuss with it too much but i played with this and played with this and played with this to get these in some order that i liked and she of course says you don't have to do that you can just uh random you know, put random colors in and it turns out beautiful no matter what you do so let me show you my progress i got two different yarns going at a time because now you do some striping so you start with one color and you use up half of your little ball, and then you start striping with your second color. So here we go. Look at that. Now, Tunisian curls, and it's always gonna curl. It just doesn't seem to matter what you do, okay? It's gonna curl, but it will uncurl when you block. So and you see my, my new stripe coming in here, the darker orange, which is actually a variegated, it's not all solid orange. So this, when you get this stretched out and block it, this becomes your bottom. This will be the bottom of the scarf. So imagine, it's gonna be like this, and then the scarf is going to continue, and it starts to square off eventually. It's an interesting concept. I did make a scarf with an advent last year that was similar to this. It wasn't in Tunisian, but it was similar. So there's a few little tricks to learn with this. I mean, my my one thing was catching the correct stitch at the end was my main my main issue. But I I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So uh, that's as far as I got. <laughs> and last but not least, here is the shawl. It is so pretty. So pretty. I would I mean, I would do this shawl again in other colors and stuff. So all that work I did with all this deep purple at the beginning and then fading into blue, it got darker. When I, I was already doing dark purple and then it got darker, right? So pretty though. Look at it. Right? It's gorgeous. 
Now it's coming off, but <laughs> leaned over and fallen down. All the way down to the lightest blue. It's so stinking pretty. So, so, so pretty. I love it. All right. I will wear this to the next Fiber Festival I go to. Even if it's in the middle of the summer, I'm going to wear this shawl. Yeah. Just so people can go, that's so pretty. What shawl pattern is that? <laughs> because, you know, Angie and I have gone to several of those. And so many of these ladies have just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous knit shawls. And we're always jealous because they're so pretty. I've been also playing with different ways to wear them. Like there's many ways you can wear a shawl, right? You can do something like this. You could, you know, whatever. So many different things you can do. But I want to go to a fiber festival and I want to have an absolutely gorgeous shawl. And I do. I, this is one of my favorite things I think that I've made. I love it. So anyhow. That's the end, folks. I'm done. Okay? I'm done. We're, we're over. I got a lot of yarn to put away now. Dale's gone for a while, so clean up on aisle four. Clean up. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, uh, I appreciate you tuning in. And I hope you come back and see more stuff. Hit the like button, subscribe button. Uh, any questions, please feel free to ask below. And I know this is super long. So I'm going to let you go. Bye, everybody.